Welcome to Rider Cash News. We present the Rider Cash story. A story about murder, kidnapping, and cover up that happens in Ironton, Ohio. This is one of the biggest scandals you ever see. And it's playing out right in front of you. It involves government officials on the local level and on the state level. It involves judges, lawyers, prosecutors. It involves sheriff's deputies. It involves detectives like Jimmy Sargent, who was the lead detective involved in the 1990 murder cover-up of a 16-year-old Iron High School student, Tanya Atkins. And there's multiple eyewitnesses. And if history doesn't repeat itself, here's the sheriff's station who was trying to threaten me with jail, and I wasn't even in the state of Ohio because the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services called the law on me and made up allegations that I was harassing and stalking them and I wasn't even in the state of Ohio. Attorney General Yost, he won't even put a special counsel over the case and knows about it. Governor Mike DeWine appointed a judge who was involved in federal kidnapping of a five-month-old child from Kentucky, Ryder Cash Atkins. If this isn't organized crime, then I don't know what is. You've got politicians on every level who are involved. They know exactly what's going on. It's called Kids for Cash. But I'm here to collect a debt. I believe you guys owe me cash. Ryder Cash. Give me my damn son. Now.